Uh, well, I forgot I had this thing. Uh, I was moving some, moving some things around and this thing showed up and I went, oh yeah, that thing. Um, I think I had it on eBay for a while. Nobody wants to buy these things. Um, so it just kind of sat around. Um, and I thought, well, if it's just going to sit around, maybe I can uh, purpose it into something else. And um, didn't really know what it was. It, 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 it's a thermo watch. Uh, I squared R company. Interesting. It's an L7 800 SS. Instruments for research and industry. Pennsylvania made in the USA. Um, and it looks like there's two power sockets. This one says 115 volts and this one says variable voltage. And this little knob over here and a voltmeter. So sounds like you can plug into it here and you can vary the voltage. Um, so since it's thermo, maybe it's for some kind of heating thing and you can set the temperature by how much power comes out, how much voltage comes out of the AC. Uh, there's a big on off switch. Um, so anyway, it looked, it looked pretty boring. And so I went online to find a schematic for it and I couldn't find anything. Uh, so it wasn't, wasn't of much, wasn't of much good. <laughs> so the back, uh, the back is interesting. Uh, there's this thing that allows you to put it like on a laboratory post, like for, you know, chemistry stand type of thing. So I don't know if it goes on top or on the bottom. I don't know. And then there's this weird little thing here, which at first glance is kind of bizarre, but all it is is a little plastic tube with an extra fuse in it. So here's the fuse and here's the replacement fuse. So they just be like, here you go. Um, oh, I didn't read the back here. Uh, tool for scientists, tool for scientists. That's me, uh, manufactured by instruments for research and industry. Uh, and then it's got a thing called a sensing head. So I'm thinking maybe that's the thermocouple that goes off somewhere. So maybe it's just like a thermometer. I mean, a thermostat, right? Just an industrial thermostat. So anyway, I took the screws out of it and uh, we can take a peek inside. Take, take the top off and, uh, Got a bunch of stuff in it. Let me let me change the camera a bit so we can see better inside. All right, there we go. Uh, what's inside? Well, big big ass relay, a uh, little transformer. So I'm not going to get a lot of power through that little transformer there. So it must be something else going on. Uh, let's see here. What's in the front? We got uh, our meter and our uh, power. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we've got a big, looks like a big uh, thermistor, I mean a uh, thy thyristor uh, dimmer circuit basically. And so that's what changes the voltage on that bottom connector. Um, we've got, uh, we've got this big rheostat, well, not rheostat, no, there's no rheostat. This is this electronic rheostat type of thing. So this little board down here uh, must be some kind of sense circuit. And it just needs a little bit of power to run, so that's why the little transformer. And so... Uh, there's not much to look at. Oh, wait a minute, there's some writing on it. L7800 SS mask here. Oh, so if you're making an 8700S, I guess... You make them, you must have different models and you have to do something if you're making a, an 800. Anyway, um, so anyway, I was kind of like, okay, what am I going to do with this thing? Uh, I don't really have a use, I don't think, for like a dimmer circuit for things. M might be nice to have a, a relay to switch on and off things. Um, and I just didn't know what to do with it until, uh, until I discovered the secret. The secret was this, the top. <laughs> and uh, like I've always said, if you're going to build something, put the schematic inside. Uh, so there is, there is a schematic in there. Um, so I took a picture of it and uh, printed it out so we can see it better. So let's, let's take a look at our circuit. 
Uh, let's see, let me move this for now because it's in the way. Okay, let's see if we can't uh, reverse engineer this thing. Um, let's see, we have, oh, amplifier and sensing head and that funny little connector that's on the back panel. So I didn't get one of these. I don't know. I don't know what that is. This, this is the thing that we've got. And it has a, this is where the AC is. So there's a, uh, there's a connector here and it comes in fused at nine amps. Woo. Uh, there's a power switch. And then it comes in black and gray. Let's see, gray and white. Comes in gray and white. And the gray goes to this. And the gray goes to that. And the white goes to... Wait a minute. Oh, that's weird. The white goes to gray. <laughs> okay, the white goes to gray. And that goes to there and goes to there. And then the gray goes up here through a relay to that one. So uh, let's see. So the high outlet has a, a big relay on it. And the low outlet has uh, some type of... Oh, this is the voltmeter. So it has, you can monitor the voltage here. And it looks like it has a little light bulb or something. They both have light bulbs. Oh, variable voltage control module. So this is the triac type thing. And so it connects to the low one. And comes around. And so I guess it's either or. Either this one is on or that one is on, but not both. Um, and then there's this funny little blue wire that's also switched SM black. Uh, so I guess this voltage, this, this uh, voltmeter is connected only when this thing is operating. Something like that. Okay. So then there's that little transformer, so it generates some type of voltage and it goes into a normal, uh, normal power, um, normal um, uh, power supply, bridge rectifier, uh, protection diode, three terminal regulator, output. Doesn't say what voltage. Um, Oh, yes, it does. So here it says 24 volts DC. And it comes down to here. So this must be 24 volts. And black comes up here to ground. And white comes up. White comes up to some type of sense. So this is, uh, we'll call it control. Control. All right, so um, ground in 24 volts goes up to this circuit up here, and this circuit does something. And it looks like this circuit either sends a high or a low signal back. That's my guess. And that comes in here on the white piece. And it comes into here to an op amp. And looks like there is some gain. There's a little resistor here. And then there's a funny switch. And that comes out of this thing and connects a looks like an open collector output. So this thing is probably acting as a, a comparator. So either high or low. So probably 
some voltage here. It's, if it's greater than a certain amount or less than a certain amount, this thing fires, turns on the relay. The relay then changes the thing and you go from cooling to heating or, you know, something like that. So looks like that's what's going on here. Um, so not having this, I could just control this thing either on or off. So I could turn this guy on or off and I can turn this guy on or off and it has uh, the uh, variable voltage on it. So that's interesting. What does this thing up here do though? PC board 12A. Can I zoom in on that? Yeah, I can zoom in on that a little bit. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Ground clip, sensing clip, ground clip. Oh, and these are wired together. So we have two grounds and a sense, and they are grabbing something, it looks like. And then 24 volt comes in, and it goes into what looks like an oscillator. Uh, so is this thing biased all by itself? It doesn't really look like it. It looks like it's getting its biasing. Hmm. Yeah, I would think that this is needs a little bit of voltage out here to make it go. Maybe not. Let's see if this is a JFET, then this thing is normally on. If it's normally on, then current does flow into this coil and it might oscillate all by itself. So yeah, it might be that this is kind of like a, a metal detector that uh, you, this thing oscillates at some frequency or some amplitude. And then out here, it might be some type of like capacitive uh, sensing. And if the capacity changes, then this thing either changes in uh, amplitude or changes in frequency. And it looks like there might be maybe a little um, voltage, um, uh, what are these called? Doubler, a, a doubler or tripler circuit. So it takes this little bit of voltage here and doubles it up and makes it a DC voltage. So whatever little AC you have out here, this thing is making a little bit of DC. And when that DC gets high enough, then this transistor turns on and that runs the rest of the circuit. So I think it's something like that. Um, this might be an emitter follower. So whatever voltage here we have here, and that goes down to the comparator. That's probably it. This thing is probably an emitter follower. So it's probably not on or off. It's some voltage. And then maybe this resistor here sets the threshold. So that's my guess. There's also another potentiometer here on this board. I don't have one of those. I do have one of these. <laughs> anyway, it uh, makes for an interesting uh, study. A lot of times you'll get an instrument and you'll say, well, well, I don't can't use it, but maybe they can use it for something else, right? Like you could use this thing maybe for a, uh, I don't know, maybe you had a rock tumbler and you wanted to turn your rock tumbler on and off. And so right away, it's good. You know, you've got you got to be able to be able to turn this thing on and off. Maybe you want to speed up or slow down your rock tumbler. And, and this is the uh, variable voltage control that can do that. And then maybe you want to have uh, some type of thing on it. If it, uh, um, I don't know, some put an Arduino here, run this thing, turn it on and off, put a, put a timer here, turn it on and off with a timer. Um, that, like that timer circuit that I showed the other day, the little module that you could buy. You could marry this with a little timer module. Um, and I suppose you could put your own type of uh, temperature sensor out here and, and run that signal in here, figure out what where your trip point is on this control and, and do that. Plug-in relay, 24 volt DC, 470 ohms, double underline, 470 ohms. It's important, I guess. Um, 1983. So that's been around. Probably why I can't sell the damn thing because it's uh, it's just too old. Anyway, it's interesting.